Alright, so today we're flying with Rick. This is Rick's second flight with me in the Diamond. And he's uh, working on his instrument rating. Did a few approaches uh, last time. And this time he's going to clean those up even more for me. Right? Oh, 100%. <laughs> uh, we're gonna oh, do I got to get. There you go. Okay, we're going to do a little DME arc uh, around a VOR and then we'll do some approaches. And the key we had last time was we got a little overcorrective with the lateral course and that diverted our attention. I don't know why I'm talking in third person. The uh, I thought it was on my leg. We had, it was the iPad's fault. We had a few uh, distractions. We'll blame the iPad. So now we got the iPad remedied. We've it in a nice stand. Archer 384 Golf, Concord Tower. Got the foggles. Got a little pre-flight snack. So we should be good to roll. Oh, I'll fly it. 3,000. And stand by the And we have about 43 miles of practice area for you. 43 miles? Oh. Alright, so remember, 3,000. Oh. Alright, so let's, once we're at 3,000, we're going to pull our power back to 23 inches. Now, here's one thing I don't quite understand is what to do right now. I think I need to get back here where I'm pointing at my V. Okay, the needle center, so you should be flying the needle. Archer 384 gone. Fly the arrow. Now you do have a little wind. That may or may not come into, into press. Eleven right. knots coming from there. Yeah. But you're you're that's holding it. Your needle's just slightly there. right, so you're fine. I would not. I wouldn't even adjust for that. But whenever that white thing is on the right side of that rifle sight, yeah. I am going to the right. Correct. Get rid of that. Okay. Get rid of that. I right, see. So just line up the arrows. Because you're on the line, right? The line is centered, yep. so just line up your arrows. I think the heading bug is causing more I think it is. issues than, than it should be. Now just line your arrows, and if the line starts moving one way or the other, just do a slight correction one way or the other to bring it back in. We fly towards the pink, don't fly towards the white. All right, so if that needle starts going a little bit left, just one or two degrees, that's all you need. It's not going that far. Just be a little bit to the left to bring that needle back. All right, now hold that. Level out and just hold that. I think part of what you're doing is you're continually banking until it corrects and then you're too far. Put a little bit of correction and then see what happens. Oh, okay, here's what I'm, here's what I'm goofed up. I'm thinking I need to keep pressure on the thing, but once I've changed my course, I don't. Right. Fly that course until you re-intercept. And once it starts coming in, you're going to want to start easing off the correction. So yeah, with, with you have almost no wind today. So if you get off a little bit of correction, a couple degrees... Uh, it's kind of like putting in rudder, in a sense, where um, once you've got your bank, I was just going to say, you don't need to keep doing it. Right, even when you bank the plane, a lot of times, once you get it set in the bank, you just you don't keep banking until exactly. you finish the Exactly, it depends the on the plane, kind of, but yeah. Right. Um, so little corrections, give it a second to take effect. Right. Um, Getting rid of that heading bug helped me a lot. I feel like I'm almost cracking the code. Okay, I have to fly towards the pink, so I need to have a little bit of left bank, which is there. Coach, but then level out. Once you get right. a little that's bit what I had not been out. doing. I had not right. been leveling out. Yeah. Um, so medicine's an analogy. You take an aspirin, you don't feel better instantly, right? So you don't keep taking them. You take the aspirin, you give it an hour, then you feel better. How's that? That's pretty good. Well, analogy. yeah, but morphine, you feel better right that's away. Right. So, <laughs> so, but that's you still would keep a superior taking. product, right? But you <laughs> still would you keep taking the morphine? Well, it depends. If the button kept giving it to me, right. level out. Got a little correction in. Don't put more in, because see, you're almost back to level and you're putting more correction in. You can tell, you're like, I want it now kind of guy. You're not, <laughs> the patience level. I'm a motocross racer. We need a little more patience level on this. Only thing, I, uh, the only caveat to that, if you were, if this say we had a crazy crosswind or something, just and you started getting almost a full scale deflection on this thing, well then we could crank it harder and get it back. Because a full scale deflection on a check ride is a fail. Uh, but for today, all right, so now, just give me a little bit of correction to the right. And actually, you could probably just go straight. With that crosswind, I would just line those arrows up and see what happens. It's probably going to blow you right back into it. Oh, that's interesting. 
Okay, now you can put this on nav. That's on GPS, yeah. We're That's going fine. on ILS, right? That's fine. It won't go to ILS until we pass the initial approach point. Then it'll switch automatically? Correct. Um, and then as far as the ILS frequency goes, it would have to be... There, you already entered that. Well, oh, it is G1000 entered. We're going to let the, let the uh, autopilot fly this for a second. So first thing we need to do, now what it didn't do for you is it did not put you on the CTAP for Anson County. So let's set the CTAP into our comms. You didn't need to leave the, the plate. You go right back to the plate. Oh, but I wanted to go direct to so that my... Yeah, but we're, we're not going direct to the airport. Good point, yeah, good point. We're going to Nomo. Right. Well, this this is showing me how to get to... Oh. It's not showing you correct. No, it's not. Here but right. let, let's focus on what we're trying to focus sure. on. We have to brief the approach, okay? okay? So the first thing we need is we need comms for this airport. We're getting close. So right here, up here... 228 tells us right on, so let's set that in our comm radio. Okay. Okay, so now we can hear what's going on over there, now we have uh, everything going. Alright, so now let's look at the rest of our plate here. It's telling some stuff we don't really need to know at the moment. The localizer, 108.55, we do need to know that, but as you mentioned, G1000 has already put it in place. Yep. It's given us our runway length, 5,500 feet, that's more than enough. Touchdown zone elevation, 300. Okay. So now we're looking down at this next section. This is going to be notes that are going to tell us if we need to do anything different. And as we scan through here, basically what it's saying is if we don't get a local altimeter setting, we have to change our DAs or our MDAs or things like that. Okay, but we're going to get a local altimeter center because we're now going to set in the AWOS. So let's go to our bottom radio and put the AWOS in. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I can get it off there or I can go over here, but it's easier it just to... Get it off of there, yeah. It's easy. We already have the plate up. Uh, oh, we don't want to get too carried away with our technology. Oh, yeah, exactly. Okay, I and think then I'll that option, it in there. And then let's listen to it. Okay, this, trap, this frequency is quite congested today. Alright, so the winds are basically five knots. There's nothing going on here. We have a valid altimeter setting, 3021, so let's set that. Oh, I came up with 3016. Did you say 3021? Uh, it was 16. Oh, down here, okay, 16. Gotcha, that was our old one. No, I got you. Set the, set the autopilot also? Autopilot. Oh, I did not. I did not, yeah. Okay. So we're moving along, because we only have a few minutes till we're here, we got to brief this thing, we're pretty close. Okay. So now, all this stuff up here is irrelevant because we have the local altimeter center. We don't have to do anything special. Just approach. If we have to go this, we're going to climb to a thousand first. Actually, not first. Climb to a thousand, yes, it is first. Climb to a thousand, then climbing left turn to three thousand. So we don't want to start our turn until we've reached a thousand feet. We'll go on a heading, and basically what this is doing is it's routing us right back to Nomo, and it's going to put us back in this hole. The key first two things to look at are the climb to a thousand before turn, and then climb to turn. Alright, so then we've kind of looked at this. We can see that Nomo is our IAF, our initial approach fix, uh, or an intermediate fix. There must be another initial approach fix somewhere. And that's where we're headed, is Nomo. Once you cross that initial approach fix, this is going to is going to tune into the localizer and the glide cylinder. So we're at 3,000, which we were assigned. Uh, yep. Just didn't know we were assigned it. And we're going to hold 3,000 until we get to Nomo. And since this is an ILS, we are going to get a glide slope. So we're going to try to get this to come down just like that. We will have a glide slope. We'll pop up right here. Little diamond. And we want to be coming down at about 90 knots. 90 knots is what I want until you have the runway in sight. Now what do I need for manifold pressure to go 90 knots with uh, whatever it takes? Whatever it takes. Because we're also going to go to full prop. That one. So initially, once you cross Nomo, just do whatever. Okay, but you don't need to worry about getting speed down until we get to that final approach. All right, and as we know, our 558 is our DA. Uh, if we get to 558, or in our case 560, and I don't see the runway, what do we do? 
we get to 558, you don't see the runway, we go around. You go, we do go mist. Now go around. Good point. Go yeah. mist. I'll, I'll, do go mist. A, I'll do a loop. Right, because this is a precision approach. So Thanks. the DA, we don't see it, we go. Okay. Jesus, I lost 300 feet. Uh-oh. Well, let's, let me write your slip up. Discontinuance. That's an interesting point. On a check ride. If something like that happened and he said, hey, you're, that's a discontinuance. He's going to say, do you want to continue or do you want to stop? Oh, I want to continue. You want to continue sure. because you know you failed that one thing. Oh. So the rest of it's like a free lunch. The more you get done now, the less you have to retest on it. Well, I'm trying to turn at 10 degrees and it's not having it. It's not helping me. Oh, remember, we're looking for standard rate, not necessarily 10 degrees. So that your standard rate, their standard rate right there. Oh, I'm looking in the wrong place. Okay. All right, so you're also, your localizer has come alive, and your glide slip has come alive. Remember, small, correct, once you get back on it, see it's coming in, there you go, there you go. Don't blast through it, hold me at three. Now remember, see your glide slope is starting to come down, your glide slope will be above you, because it's shooting up into space, right, from the airport, so you will come into it from the bottom. There you go, so you went through it. I went through it, but it's over on my right side. I, I have to turn right, don't I? Correct, because you went through it. It was on your left side, you went too far. You go oh, correct, that's what I'm saying. So just give me, just like we did in level flight, just give me a few degrees correction to the right and let it come in for you. Don't blow through it on the other side. Anti County traffic number 526 up here is uh, 10 miles to the south. That's ILS 434 Anti Alright, I'll be your radio man. How's that? I'll take one thing off you. Okay. Yeah, please do. Okay, so straighten out, nice straight and level. And as that line starts to come in, it's starting to come in, start easing her back to the left. So you don't blow through it on the right. Oh, do you mean actually have this on the left side? Oh, start easing this back. Oh, of course, because I, oh, duh, because I got to get back to the Correct. green. Now yeah. straighten her out. See, so you're on it. Okay. So now run straight. Okay, now we've crossed Nomo. Look at our glide slope. So let's, let's start going down. You're above your glide slope. That's your glide slope, the diamond, okay? You can pull some power back and just ease her down into that glide slope. There you go. All right, so now we're almost at 2,000, so let's get configured. Let's bring her down to 90 knots. I want to put some flaps in? Up, as soon as you're below your flap speed, one notch. Obviously, it's 108, isn't it? 108. Uh, all right, just going to balloon a little bit on you. Control that. All right, you're right on glide slope, so we need to maintain that. Alright, landing lights. Full prop. Full prop. Now we're configured. Now we just want to ride in at 90, so we need a little more speed. And come over to the right a little bit. You might want to turn your lights on the field. Don't overcorrect this. Landing lights are on. Oh, the field lights. Seven oh. clicks. And fly that level and straight. And let it come back in. I gotta get lower though, so I'm gonna That get is rid correct. Of That's fine. I'll get your style kill two birds. See that line's coming in nice there? Hey, Mr. County traffic. Got right. one, two, three, five, Bravo. We're we got about 200 five, feet to go. The field. We're going to be doing a 45 right. degree entry left down line for zero six. All right, that's good. You kept glide slope, but keep your speed. There you go. All right, no, no heavy corrections here. No heavy correct. You got the line back. Just hold on. All right, watch our glide slope. All right, field is in sight. All right, take my glasses take off. Take your glasses off and land this sucker. All right, so now we're already at speed, Minimum. that's correct. Minimum. Now we want to get down to what, about 70, 75? Let's have a nice touchdown. Now watch that speed, you're getting fast. There you go. I want to try and touch down where the bars are because no one may see. I always try to get my wheel stopped by the top of the 3 4, but in this plane, I don't want to do that. No, we don't do it. Matter of fact, we're supposed to be hitting down by the touchdown bars. Now that's what I'm shooting for. Okay. All right, let's let her drop a little bit before you flare. You're a little high. Oh, we bounced her. We bounced her.
70 to 75 on final. I just wore final like that. All right, let's taxi back. We'll take a look at what we'll recap. Taxi back on the runway. Oh, there's taxi right there. Yep. That was way better than last time. We're not all over the place. You had much more steady hand. The, the, my biggest criticism is for some reason we get back that correction. And as soon as you stop, instead of going level, you go right back to where it was. My brain isn't wired correctly yet. I'm doing what I want to do, but it's the wrong thing. And then that, that one thing you said was a great revelation where once you get on the course you want, stop turning. Stop monkey. And I was flying from, you know, here to Florida, I would realize that I don't want to keep pressure on that the whole time. I, you know. Uh, but when I'm just trying to catch that stupid little line, it seems like, okay, I need to keep pushing. But once you get in a slot or a groove where, all right, I'm established, I got my speed looking good, uh, that means your descent's probably looking good because you're on the glide slope and that, then it's kind of just more maintaining. Don't overthink it.